the video. Uh, the, the update um, that I did before this was, of course, moving everything around. Um, Droxford's in its new location. Um, don't worry about the background. I'm going to get some plain blue wallpaper or something, just to or some back scenes, just to fix to the wall along there. But anyway, it's, it, it's in its new location, opposite side of the room, and. Uh, it went in quite easy actually, didn't that too many snags, but the only thing is now at the moment there's a great big gap here. Now this is going to be moved because there's going to be a big board in here. Because while I was moving the layout I was rebuilding rebuild, the studio and stuff. Uh, so now I've got a big dead area at the back of here behind the computer monitors. Which I'm going to put a board in here with some sidings because I've worked out I've got enough to space I can keep my APT permanently on the track, my four SEP unit on the track and my Voyager on the track so I don't have to keep because the couplings are fiddly on them. Um, so what I'm going to do is the board will come here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this curve out move this side but part this part of the siding over a bit because there's enough space un under the bridge to do it and then the, tra the track will come out of here and it will run around the back of these computer screens and it'll end up joining up to this track here on the fiddle yard this one will go to a uh, there'll be a, uh, a point in here that will take it for the sidings to go there I've got some points left over which I'm going to use for that and I'll show you what I've done on um, Adwick Lane at the Adwick, the Adwick Lane side Right then, on the Adwick Lane side, right, this is the uh, fiddle yard, I've remodelled it. Single track through the tunnel, comes to this point, work there, two lines there. This is the line that will eventually connect back up to Droxford. This line will go to the extra sidings for the APT and all that lot. Um, single track through the tunnel, put a set track curve point in there, because this this other line just goes to a dead end. Uh, just like when I run locomotives off, I can run into there and then run them back. Um, then I've relayed, I've replaced this, put a Y point in there. The curve point that used to be over here is now here, which leads to this line that go, will eventually go, go to link into Droxford. Small Y point down here goes into it. This is the platform for the for the bus depot and transport depot. That point stayed where it is. This siding slightly longer now, so it can fit a locomotive in there better. Um, that piece comes along there into a three way which goes into there. I was going to put a medium radius point there, but just to save time, I've put a, a, a small radius back in there. It works okay. I've, I've been testing it, and uh, it, it's work, it works all right. But I'm not going to ballast it until I get Droxford done, because I've got to re-ballast part of Droxford when I move them two bits of track anyway. So I'll do the ballast, and it gives me a chance, chance to test it. Um, signal box has gone from there, and I was hoping to put it on the platform, and I've managed to put it on the platform and it fits in there quite nicely uh, I'm quite happy with it there um, I managed to pull the lighting back in um, I've had to lose a station lamp though to do it but I'm not worried about that um, also this end of the station there was a canopy there and these buildings were moved along but I've moved them up now so all these roofs canopies line up because obviously I want to make some 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 sort of cosmetic overhead mass supports and I've kind of based it on um, the old Manchester Victoria uh, um, Sheffield Victoria station because canopy is pretty, pretty much the same now I was looking how the overhead masks go there so I'm going to kind of base it on that to uh, to do that I've got to tidy up the ballast here because um, it's you know gone a bit Haywire. I'll probably end up reballasting. I might end up reballasting the whole thing eventually because this ballast ain't stuck, ain't gone down very well, to be honest. Or, or what I might, I might just make a, a solution of glue, maybe mix a little bit of paint in it to darken it a little bit and sort of take it down. But that's what I've done. Um, I've been been testing the last couple of days and. All seems to be alright. Um, I'm going to give it a, a more a thorough test before I do any ballasting and things like that. But but yeah, it, I'm quite happy with it. It's worked out quite well. Um, 
so yeah that's what i've done so far um once again thanks for watching feel free to subscribe comment and um yeah happy modeling